Hello and a very warm welcome to all my friends. If we haven't met before, then I'm very glad that I'm having the opportunity of meeting you for the first time. My name is Terence Teasdale. I'm a writer, I'm an author, I'm an international speaker. I'm essentially a clinician specializing in androgyny, specializing in women's issues, especially issues concerning negative emotions and I spend a lot of time working with people in relationships. Why, you might wonder, is all this terribly important? Well, I think it becomes fairly obvious when we look about us. We know the statistics. We know that families are breaking down and the families are the very cornerstone of our entire society. We know that divorce is increasing. We know that so many arguments and so much fighting is going on within families. We also know, tragically, that depression, anxiety, neurosis, and similar negative afflictions are increasing at an alarming rate. So alarming that we have now got to step in and say enough is enough and we've got to focus on why this is the case. The trouble is that we're living in a life where we have high expectations. We live in a life where we're so, supposed to be superhuman. Look at the life of a woman today who is a mother. She goes to work and has to perform in a super duper way. She has to come home and be a super mom. She comes home and has to be a super wife. There are problems because all the people with whom she connects lean on her. She's got no way of dealing with her own emotions, except with her friends, and they're usually women friends. So what does one do about all this? In my work, I try to focus basically on two things. The self, instead of blaming other people, instead of pointing a finger at other people, and also relationships. The important thing of getting ourselves right focuses on the way so many of us try to force ourselves into the space of other people's lives. It doesn't work. So many arguments, so much fighting goes on because of the manipulation. And so what we have to do is to know in ourselves, that if the person with whom we're living or we want a relationship knows we're good people, knows that we are selfless people, these people, and they approve of us, these people will invite us into their own space. Notice invite. We can't push or force ourselves. But what about getting ourselves right anyway? I'm reminded of a story of a grandfather speaking to his grandchild. And the grandfather says to the child, you know, there are two wolves living inside us. One is really, really bad. The bad one is greedy and jealous and hates and blames. He's full of anger, screams and shouts and puts other people down. But also inside us, there's a really good wolf. A good wolf that is concerned with peace and love and hope, of kindness, of generosity, of giving. A wolf that's concerned with enhancing self-worth and fulfillment. The little boy is puzzled and turns to his grandfather and says, but grandfather, these two wolves fighting inside us, which one is going to win? And the grandfather turns to his grandchild and says, Do you know, the only wolf that will win is the one which you feed yourself. If you feed evil, you will become evil. If you feed goodness, you become good. That's the starting point of living your life to live. That's the way that I spent my life trying so much, so hard, to improve 
our relationships, but focusing on ourselves without pointing fingers and focusing ourselves on the other person, trying not to manipulate that person, but knowing and accepting that person. Thanks very much for listening to me and you might think, as so many people do and ask of me, are there differences between the emotions within men and women? The answer is undoubtedly a palpable yes. But that's for another time. Thank you.